Praise God, hallelujah. Hello, beloved church family. My name is Joey Karangan, and I am recovered through the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Introduce yourself, beloved child of God. Hello, beloved of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit lives in you for all of eternity. His presence shines through you. He is in every breath. Hallelujah. And he is the only one that keeps this temple alive for all of eternity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, believe it or not, church family, we are now in step 12. Glory to God. And as you know, in the I Am Recovered workbook, this is the final step in this 12-step program of this worship handbook. Amen. And in step 12, as you see on the overhead right here, this is it. Praise God, this is it. Before we're raptured out of here, this is what all of God's children is called to do. Amen. Step 12 is, say with me, worship through Him. Amen. Worship through Him. Worship through Him. Hallelujah. Worship. Praise God. And the principle that Holy Spirit promises that He will work through you, say this word with me, discipled. Amen. Discipled. And praise God, as you guys know, when we faithfully work through these steps in worship, hallelujah, Holy Spirit will be the one discipling us. Holy Spirit will be the one, for he's the only teacher who teaches us. Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit will be the one to work the principle in your life and in my life. Praise God. And we are in page 352 of I Am Recovered, but glory to God, if you haven't purchased this yet, praise God, you can get it, you can get it at Amazon, and um, I just encourage you to do so. However, if you don't have it, praise God, you could follow through at IamRecovered.online, IamRecovered.online, praise God. And the glory of God is simply this, His view and opinion of who you are in Lord Jesus Christ. How much does the Father love you, amen? We like to tease each other here at Open Arms Community Church and I am recovered in our worship services on Tuesday evenings. You know, we, we love to say I'm his favorite, amen? I am God's favorite, praise God. And there's many of you right now that worship through this worship service and you guys know, a lot of you are like, no, I am. I am, praise God. And isn't it beautiful that no one can take that away from you? No one can take that personal, life-changing revelation, glory, say that word with me, glory, his glory of you. Amen. No one can touch that because that is your intimacy with Father God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So once again, we are now in lesson 29 in step 12, principle 12, lesson 29. And this lesson 29, say it with me, praise. Amen. Praise. Now in a moment, we're going to open up in prayer. Praise God like we always do. And then afterwards, we're going to go into the Lord's Prayer the way Lord Jesus Christ, agape, amen, one of my favorite shirts, agape, agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is our God, three in one, amen. Just like I stand here before you, I am three in one being, amen, three in one, amen, three in one, amen. What is the three in one? Spirit, soul, body. That is Joey Karangan, hallelujah. But glory to God that I died already. Can I get an amen? You have Jesus Christ as Lord. You died already. You died that excruciating death. It's only by the glory of Lord Jesus Christ that you didn't die like the rest of the world dies. You died as a beloved child of God. Hallelujah. You died and you said, Jesus Christ, you are Lord and Savior. I am now crucified. I died in you. And the presence of Holy Spirit, amen, the glory of God is, his view and opinion of you, is because you completely relinquished, you completely laid down, you let go. You said, I die in you, Lord Jesus. I make you my Lord and my Savior. You own me. You own my thoughts. This is your holy of holy place. I am your temple. I am your beloved child. The glory of God Almighty is the, re the resurrection power, the same resurrection power that raised Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, Holy Spirit, say his name, Holy Spirit, raised you and me. In that next breath of that declaration, 
of Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Let's all say that together. It's one church, one body. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a glorious day that will be. Amen. When you're just saying that, saying it out loud, worshiping, and all of a sudden that trumpet. Hallelujah. That trumpet that shakes all of the earth, all of the universe. That trumpet is blown. Hallelujah. The sky is open. And here's Lord Jesus Christ coming back for his beloved church. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. And let's open up in prayer. We got a lot to go through. Praise God. As we always do. I'm just so excited as far as what Lord Jesus Christ is doing in his body. Amen. Say with me. I am his body. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your abundance that is overflowing from heaven, Father God, from within. Lord Jesus Christ, we plead your holy and precious blood. We thank you, Father God, that you love us beyond what we can understand or comprehend, that you love us, Father God, despite all the horrible things that we have done and continue to do, that is through your mercy and grace of the perfect one, Lord Jesus Christ, that your abundance, Father God, from within overflows us, Father. And as we lift up your name, Lord Jesus Christ, and bless your name, the only name in which we know how to pray through, Father God, the only name that's above every name, the only name for our salvation, the only name of your beloved, perfect, only Son, Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, we bless you and we welcome you always in every breath. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that Open Arms Community Church, this is your holy church. This is your building, Father God. And we know, Father, that we are all your temples. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for I am recovered, the book that you wrote, Father God, to just bless us with intimacy with you. We thank you, Father God, for your hand, God's hand ministries. And we thank you, Father, that as your hand reaches out through us, that we just tell every soul how much you love us. The Holy Spirit, you are love, and you manifested that love through agape, through Lord Jesus Christ. And even though we did the most horrible thing to that love, Father, you forgave us. So, Father, as your love abounds, we just thank you so much, Father, for your forgiveness, for your mercy and grace. Teach us, O Lord, and bless us. Change me, O Lord. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. So we're going to go into the Lord's Prayer. We say it in complete reverence to Lord Jesus Christ and how he taught us to pray. Amen. I know sometimes, listen, Lord Jesus Christ forgave me and blessed me. But in the past, I used to just say it religiously, right? Because it's easy to memorize, right, and just recite. God is saying rebuke that. Amen. Let's treat Father God as if this is the first time. Amen. As if this was the first time that we called on the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen? And as little children, praise God, as little children, let us just approach the throne of God in pure innocence and saying, teach me, O Lord, amen? Teach me, bless me, O Lord. Father, I open up every area of my heart that I can possibly do just in trust that you, Lord Jesus Christ, are perfect. You are the only one worthy in Jesus' name, amen? Praise God, let's pray. In Matthew 6, verses 9 through 13. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Holy Spirit, help us. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and all God's beloved said, amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. We're in step 12, and this is worship through him. Amen. And in worship through him, it says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him, worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, in step 12, the lock that we are going to expose in what the enemy wants us to keep wrestling with, remember, these locks symbolize what this world, what the enemy wants us to just trip up on. Amen to be confused in, right? To, to, to continue to, you know, it's like many times, Holy Spirit brings us back to, to the illustration, the image of just running on a treadmill. 
and getting nowhere, right? And this lock in step 12 is simply, it simply says, my existence, question mark, my existence. But the key that unlocks this lock, hallelujah, as you can read it here in step 12, is worship through him. Our very existence in this vapor of a life that we have. Now many of you know a vapor is simply you see it and it just in a blink of an eye it's gone, right? And this is what God says our life here on earth is. It's nothing but a vapor. And the glory of God is, remember his view and opinion of you is, do you choose in this vapor to worship God with everything that you have in obedience to Holy Spirit giving thanks to Lord Jesus Christ and allowing his life to manifest in you and so that your praise, your worship is in completely saturated, overflowing, hallelujah, his presence, Holy Spirit just flows through your life, amen? I'm reminded of those video games, praise God. Those video games I used to play when I was little. And I remember this one video game called Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic the Hedgehog, he used to run through the maps and he used to collect all these coins. But when he got bumped or he got hurt, these coins would just, just come out of him. It would fall out of him, right? And the objective of the game, of course, is not to get hurt, not to fall, right? Amen? Isn't it beautiful? The Holy Spirit will teach us in every and any capacity if we just allow him hallelujah we just bless lord jesus and just worship and here is holy spirit in us praise god and when we fall when we stumble when we get hurt holy spirit is the one that just picks us up amen and there's an abundance of it because he is god almighty all god wants from us is to worship him in spirit and in truth amen hallelujah let's give god praise praise god let's move on hallelujah Principle 12, praise God, we got this one correct. Disciple, say that word with me, disciple, amen. And in your book, in step 12, you will read this. Discipled through Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior, simply put, amen. That's all Holy Spirit had for this step, amen, for this principle, is that you are now, hallelujah, because remember, the exchange is complete. Amen. You know, you know, just like by the grace of God, if you took your very next breath, you know where that next breath comes from. Amen. You know, by the grace of God, that whatever you set out to do, it is by his will, not ours. Amen. You know, by the grace of God, that you only love him because he first loved you. Amen. You know, by the grace of God, being a disciple of Holy Spirit, that we did not choose Lord Jesus he chose us. Remember, he came and he saved the entire world. Amen? So we know that he is the perfect one. That it's his salvation. Amen? That it's his joy. It's his peace. And his name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So glory to God, we understand this. And I love this icon in the I Am Recovered workbook. It's the heart. But if you notice, if you closely examine the heart, there's three hearts there. And it's the heart of agape. The heart of the Father, the heart of the Son, the heart of Holy Spirit, and say it with me, in me. Amen. Praise God, in me. Now remember, we are in this lesson, and now here in lesson 29 in praise, we're going to be in Psalms 34, verses 1 through 4. Amen. We don't have too much to go through. However, we don't want to jump ahead. We just want to be, be a blessing unto Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And allow Holy Spirit to teach us. And at the same time, allow Holy Spirit to change us. Say it with me, change me, O Lord. Amen. How many of you truly believe that we can change? We can change every day if we allow, if we allow God to do so. Amen. Both hands, I, I'd raise my feet if I could. Amen. I am living testimony of that. Glory to God. Every day, God changes me. Every day. And I thank God for that because when I see my Lord Jesus Christ on that cross, and when he said, te telestai, paid in full, right? It is finished. I want God, my father, to get everything that he paid for. Can I get an amen? I want God to have everything that he has planned for Joey Karengan. Amen? Now, by the grace and mercy of God, 
right? Through holy matrimony, through salvation, Trish and I were one, amen? We are one in Christ, hallelujah. And we, glory to God, umpteen times a day, never ever boasting on us or on man, we only boast on Lord Jesus Christ, that in his presence and his anointing, that we always ask God, change me, Father, change me, hallelujah. And the glory of Holy Spirit is he will, he will. And may I confess to you, sometimes the way the change is brought, it hurts. Amen? Oh my goodness, and I thank God for, for the prayers of my church family. I thank God for, you know, just all the intercessory prayer. I thank God for just all the fasting and all the, right? I, I thank God for that because Holy Spirit says, though I bring change, I am also in your future. I am also ahead of you. And I have orchestrated my glory to be manifested. Just be obedient. Amen? So you may be going through a struggle right now. Right? You may be going through something right now that brings pain or hurt. Hallelujah. And I say hallelujah with all my heart. Because God promises that as you say hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you praise. Amen. As you praise. As you, as you lift up your hands and praise. God says the breakthrough is already orchestrated. And my goodness and mercy is chasing you down in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. So of course we go into psalms and we're going to read what comes of course from holy spirit through david brother david a man after god's own heart hallelujah what a title praise god what a title amen for god to label him as you are a man after my own heart amen and we know all the things that brother david has accomplished praise god of course because you all know the written word of god but what i love is that when holy spirit teaches in worship and his very presence anoints you and blesses you with life-changing revelation in changing you, you now have insight because the same spirit that was on David, now hear me now, the same spirit that was on David, Holy Spirit, is the spirit because of Lord Jesus Christ that lives in you and in me. Hallelujah. So as we read this, let us be reminded that it's echoing from a beloved child of God that in worship, he is, just, he is just laying everything out, right? Exalting the name of Lord Jesus Christ, building him up, right? Just blessing Father God Almighty, blessing Holy Spirit, amen? And just knowing the goodness of the Father, and here Holy Spirit wants us to do the same right now. Hallelujah, in this day and age, amen? Let's, let, let, let's go on and read this, praise God, and listen to the anointing of what Holy Spirit is teaching us right now. I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. Amen? His praise. This is why God blessed us with the holy written word and all the documentation, hallelujah, that Holy Spirit would write through his anointed so that we can all, hallelujah, not be ignorant but be blessed with the wisdom that only comes from heaven, that Holy Spirit would encourage us to worship Lord Jesus Christ in being thankful and exalting his name and his victory. Hallelujah, can I get an amen? You see, it's far too often that we take the written word of God, the Holy Bible, and we start reading it with intent, and don't get me wrong, it's good intent to get closer to God, amen? to learn from God, right? To, to, to get an idea, right? To get an idea. All this is great intent. But where it becomes an error, can I say that again? Where it becomes an error, where it, when it's not right, when we try to get God right in here and only here. Rebuke that in Jesus' name. See, the, the Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, amen, Divinely orchestrated and written the Old Covenant, Old Testament, New Testament, New Covenant, the Holy Bible from front to back so that we can be led and guided by the only teacher through Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, because Lord Jesus Christ is the only way, truth, and life. John 14, 6 says that. Amen. And it's only through Lord, the Lordship, Lord Jesus Christ, it's only through the Lordship of Lord Jesus Christ 
that now Holy Spirit will take us into the written word of God and he will make the whole Bible come alive in you. Hallelujah. And in me. Praise God. And so what happens is, is that rather than reading the Holy Bible, wanting things from God, right, or trying to do homework, right, I wasn't, I was never a fan of homework, right, I, I, I mean, I never was, it didn't matter how old I was, I just didn't like homework, you may be different, praise God, hallelujah, you're gifted, I didn't, but see, the written Bible, the Holy Bible was never meant to be homework, it was to just fuel the intimacy, amen, the anointing, the presence of God as you worship, amen, as you say it with me, worship, give him praise, amen, give him praise, hallelujah. So I love this because right away brother David goes, I will exalt the Lord at all times, his praise will always be on my lips. So how do we put that in practice as we praise Lord Jesus Christ? Many of you know, praise God, many of you know. Before even asking anything, before even, before any of that, I thank you, Father, for Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, for Lord Jesus Christ. What does that do to a beloved child of God? Immediately, agape. Immediately, agape and his presence, his light, his presence overflows you, overwhelms you, shines so that help is here. Amen. Say that with me. Help is here. Hallelujah. And the glory of God is all his angels surround us. Amen. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. So right away, right away, because as we know right now in principle 12, this is discipled. Amen. Discipled. And right away, here is King David saying that I will let others hear. I will let afflicted hear the rejoicing of my Lord. So the question that I have for you, beloved child of God, is that, and once again, this is only Holy Spirit speaking, and if there's conviction in worship, take it up with Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Bring it to the Father and plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. The question that God has for you is, as you walk your daily life, and do the things that you do that God has allowed and orchestrated for you to do on, for example, this glorious day. Can people hear, can people see the glory of God in you? Hmm. Amen. Can people feel the presence of Holy Spirit in your life? There's some of you right now that, I'm not going to say upset, but there has been a conviction. And glory to God for that. Blessed are you, beloved child of God, because all, all that is is Holy Spirit saying, hallelujah, let's make some changes, amen? Holy Spirit is saying, let me flow through those areas. What is it that you want, my child? Amen? Do you want so that when I go before you, that my presence pushes evil far, far away? Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I am. Yes, I do. I want that. Do you want, beloved child of God, that my light shines through the darkest of darkest? And that as my light shines through you, that it cuts off every demonic principality in Jesus' name? I am, Father. Yes, in Jesus' name. I want that. I want that. I am. Do you want to have such an intimacy with me, beloved child, that you're just singing praises, that you're just rejoicing, that you're happy, that you're laughing, amen? That as your laughter is spoken from the Holy of Holies, hallelujah, from your breath, that when you, when you exhale that laughter, that hallelujah, that people around you, regardless of where they're at, obedient, disobedient children of God, regardless, that Holy Spirit's anointing His presence will break chains off of people. I am Father, hallelujah. I am, Father. Yes, I want that in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved church family, let's just lift up our hands and let's just praise God right now. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. 
glorify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Now we're in discipleship. So you already hear the heart of Brother David. Remember, this is all Holy Spirit, of course, taken from the book of Psalms. Amen. That here Brother David is saying, glorify the Lord with me. Now we have to remember that in this lesson, 29, in Discipled, this is a key factor in worship, hallelujah, in blessing Holy Spirit is coming together. Amen. This isn't an option. Mm. Some people got upset right now, but you have to hear it. Lord Jesus Christ died for his body, and his body has to come together. Amen? Enough of this, well, I am the church and I don't need, no, rebuke that. That's Satan, that's the devil, rebuke that. You, you tell that devil, devil, shut it. I rebuke you, you have no control over me, I am a beloved child of God, I am a member of the body, and I have to be in the body. Lord Jesus Christ is coming back for his body. And I will be blameless in Jesus' name. Amen. So whatever it is, hallelujah, shake it off. Amen. No more in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit done cut that head off. Hallelujah. And get planted and rooted in a holy Bible-filled church. Holy Bible, front to back. Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ-centered. Amen. Holy Spirit-filled. Get planted and rooted in a church family. Amen. Listen, beloved church family, I am recovered. Yes, hallelujah. Holy Spirit has anointed it, blessed it. Amen. You can feel the presence of God, and this is great. We live in a different world now, and this is great that we can come together. Amen. Have these devotionals. Have this intimacy and worship. Amen. Allow Holy Spirit to change us and bless us, but there's still an accountability wherever you're at in this world. Amen. It, it doesn't matter if you're in jail. It doesn't matter if you're in some kind of institution. It doesn't matter. God has ordained you and blessed you through the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. The name above every name lives in you. And his Holy Spirit is saying, now it's time to, to, to just grab people. Amen? Physically, we, we got to come together. We got to come together. Amen? We got to come together. Praise God. Let, let's just plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ and let's worship. Let's be discipled by Holy Spirit, and let's hold each other accountable. Amen? Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen? Let us exalt his name together. Amen? Together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. And yes, I'm going to go, go back through this one more time, just, just so that we can emphasize in the heart of what Holy Spirit wants for us to learn tonight is this. In this lesson 29 of being discipled, remember step 12 is worship through him. Amen? Worship in him. Right? We are in Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is in us. Amen? And so when we, when we know this, glory to God, the principle and what Holy Spirit wants is to be discipled. And when we know that when we are discipled by Holy Spirit, God says that his fruit his presence in your life, you will not lock yourself behind doors. Glory to God, that's not Holy Spirit. Because Holy Spirit is the one that says, go. Right? Go. It's time to share. Amen? And so as we say this in that anointed word, share, right? Share the gospel, the good news. Hallelujah, it's good news. Rejoice. Amen? Be happy. Hallelujah. As we share, praise God, let's read this again all together now. I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Remember that word glory is his view and opinion of you. Lord Jesus Christ made it so easy. You know what God's view and opinion of you is. Forgiven. Redeemed. Saved. Sanctified masterpiece, blessed, healed, wise, alert, amen, courageous, mighty, overcomer, amen. We can go on and on in Jesus' name, amen. I will glory in the Lord. Remember, that's his view and opinion because Lord Jesus Christ gave us our God-purchased identity. 
Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Now we're getting into discipleship. Amen? Now we're getting into discipleship. Now we're getting into the, the church that you are planted and rooted in. I understand, beloved church family, it has nothing to do with the name that's out on the building or the denomination. There's no such thing. What it, what it all is, is glorifying Lord Jesus Christ and allowing Holy Spirit, amen, to be God of his church, the new covenant church, amen? And I love that. Let us exalt his name together. Say that word with me, together, amen? I sought the Lord and he answered me. Isn't that beautiful? So together, in fellowship, in worship, sharing, being transparent, right? Just blessing God and just, just, just talking to people about how God saved you, right? Just talking to people about the love of God. There, 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 there is no Bible beating or thumping or like anything like that. No, it's just sharing the goodness of God the Father that lives in you now, amen? And it's as you share, look, I sought the Lord and he answered me. It's in this anointing when we share with Lord Jesus Christ in true transparency of our struggles, of our shortcomings, of our hurt. Remember the coins in Sonic, right? This is when the advocate, hallelujah, God Almighty, who Lord Jesus Christ promised the new covenant church because of his perfect work, Holy Spirit in you and in me will encourage you and bless you. But even beyond that, he will go before you, hallelujah, and bless you with the desires of your heart in Jesus' name, amen. And it sums it up and says, he delivered me from all my fears. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. By the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit has taught us for these past few weeks now the power of fighting, the power of prayer, the power of His holy and precious blood, Lord Jesus Christ, the power of Holy Spirit. Where is Holy Spirit? You beat me to it. Amen. In me. Amen. And glory to God, immediately Holy Spirit put this graphic together as far as with praise. It shows the chains breaking. Amen. Just like Holy Spirit spoke it through Elder Charlie, right, a couple Sundays ago. The chains are broken, shattered, right? Obliterated, amen? Vaporized, demolished, amen? And then Holy Spirit, of course, spoke through our pastor, Pastor John, this past Sunday, amen? And don't you love as far as how Lord Jesus Christ continues to tell us, just praise Him, amen? Just praise Him, hallelujah. You see, it's when we become so distracted that we don't even want to do this no more. Right? That those hands are continuously down. Right? And isn't it amazing? Holy Spirit spoke it through pastor. That if you just keep your hands up, they can't get shackled. They can't, they can't get tied down. Amen? And don't you love this? Because in the word praise, you can't spell that word praise without raise. Amen? So in Jesus' name, I pray right now that all, all of God's beloved, listen, beloved church family, I may not even physically be here anymore. It may be that time right now in this season that the rapture already took place, the trumpet sounded, and the glory of God just raptured his entire church. But I pray in Jesus' name that as you watch this, that you just lift up your hands. Because even though things may be the way it is around this world right now, Holy Spirit says, just give me praise. Because this life is nothing but a vapor. And I will save you for all of eternity. And it all starts with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you, Father, that your hands was nailed to that cross. Because, Lord Jesus Christ, you praised the Father. Even though we did the most horrible things to you, you praised him. And, Lord Jesus Christ, we know that that cross didn't hold itself together. We know that that cross didn't, didn't keep your body together. We know, Lord Jesus Christ, that your perfection held the cross together. It's all because of you, Lord Jesus Christ. And you had your hands lifted up high so that Father's glorified on that glorious death that you took. When you, Lord Jesus Christ, and only you and only through you, that the victory is yours for eternity, that you defeated. Thank you, Father God, that the victory is yours. 
So Lord Jesus Christ, as we plead your holy and precious blood, as we raise our hands, praising you and only you, Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we ask and thank you for your blessing and anointing. Father, thank you for going before us. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for charging your angels over us. Father, bless us indeed. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy name we pray. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Step 12 already. Hallelujah. It's amazing. Amen. How this whole year has gone by. And praise God for that. That yesterday is dead and gone. Amen. And uh, I, I have a lot of people asking, what's next after we conclude with all, this, with all the lessons? And I am recovered. I confess to you. I don't know. I'm praying. Pray for me. Hallelujah. We'll see what Holy Spirit has in store. We just know that it's gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. If we're still here, praise God. But I, know, I, I do know that we're being obedient in our worship services, that we're just listening to what God has to say. Hallelujah. Through Holy Spirit. And just blessing the Lord Jesus Christ in these instructions of preparation. Amen. Instructions of preparation. What are we preparing for? Amen. Getting out of here. Hallelujah. For that trumpet. Amen. God bless you guys. God is good. <laughs> All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for blessing God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. For loving Him with everything. Because we know the only way to do that is Holy Spirit. And thank you as you bless Holy Spirit that you bless everybody. Everybody. Amen. Say it with me. Everybody. Everybody around you. All of our neighbors. Everybody. Amen. Thank you so much for going to IamRecovered.online. Thank you for supporting this ministry. Hallelujah. God's hand ministry. And thank you so much once again for your faithfulness in all the seeds that you've sown. Amen. God will multiply it. I believe that with all my heart because God has worked the miracle through you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. Love you so much, beloved church family. Join us, oacchurch.com. Oacchurch.com tomorrow evening. Amen. Tomorrow evening. If we're still here, praise God for Wednesday evening worship service. Amen. Love you guys so, so very much. My name is Joey Karangan, and I am recovered through the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. Mwah.